So, Professor Lisk, I'd like to begin with you. Now, COVID-19 is dramatically altering all our lives right now. But do you see the impact being one that will cause permanent shifts in our lifestyles and behaviors even after this is over? Yes, absolutely. This is uh, an event that hasn't been seen in the world for 101 years since the 1918 pandemic that swept throughout the world. And of course, um, it's, it's no secret that we will have incredible uh, impacts on the way we live and work, on our health um, in many different areas of life. Um, I'm thinking particularly of, of our health and just the mere recovery from um, the deaths from COVID disease and the, the post-traumatic distress of healthcare workers, which we know has happened from previous epidemics, right. uh, but will be something we have to deal with. Now, just focusing a little more on that, that we know that the burden of healthcare will continue to increase even after this pandemic is over, because as you mentioned, once we deal with this, we're going to have... Uh, manifestations all over of those who are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. What do you think is the international conversation about global institutions dedicating greater funds to healthcare? Is there a conversation? Do you hear that happening right now? There's no doubt going to be a conversation. Of course, we're going to see greater attention paid to public health in general. Uh, pandemics shed light on existing um, brokenness in health systems mm. and uh, this is shedding a great big spotlight on all sorts of um, cracks in systems. So we will see uh, increased funding, particularly for pandemic preparedness. Right. We'll see hopefully increased funding for uh, health systems and infrastructure and, uh, and I certainly hope that we see great attention, pay, ongoing attention paid to uh, 